Hey Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're looking at a very special set, one of my favorites, if not the favorite, the new Loop Coaster, set 10303. Now, uh, I was a bit shocked when they uh, decided to make another roller coaster because the first one was out in 2018 and it only recently retired. So I was thinking, how in the world could they possibly make a better one? Well, they did. Uh, but first, let's look at the minifigures. Well, most of the minifigures. Uh, I left three of them on the coaster itself. So uh, to help decorate the area around, you get a little park bench. Uh, there's a squirrel involved and three sellers, whether it's pretzels, hot dogs, or balloons, uh, there's something to buy for a souvenir. The really cute thing is the hot dog stand is actually built like a hot dog, which I've never seen before. And that's just, it has so much character in there. Uh, but yeah, you do get a wide variety of male, female characters uh, with various styles of clothing and uh, representation. So that's really nice. Unfortunately, when it comes to anything printed, uh, the only thing that's printed are the torsos and the minifigures. Everything else that you see that has, like for example, the, the signs on the various stands and the sign for the park itself, those are all going to be stickers. And uh, that's sad considering the set is like about a $400 set. So you'd hope they would be printed, but they're unfortunately not. Uh, also, before we move on to the coaster, I do want to show that it can be motorized. And I'm using an old Power Functions motor and battery pack. And so at the end of this video, I'll show the uh, coaster moving in the four basic directions that you can view the coaster at. So you get a sense of how it all looks without my hands getting in the way. All right, time for the big stuff. So this one is really big. Uh, I believe it's about three feet tall as well as three feet wide. Uh, it, <laughs> it solves some of the problems that were in the original roller coaster. So over time as you run the roller coaster and then heat and cold uh, the taller sections of the roller coaster would come separated uh, you get some of the pillars here on the on this side the loop side uh, these are kind of built the same way as the old roller coaster but just not as tall now the problem with the tall ones is with that movement with that heat and cooling they would separate thus separating the track and you'd start getting problems. People didn't know how to solve it, and generally this solution was go through the entire set and press down and repress your entire set. This tower changes that because it's all built sideways. Uh, in fact, the tops of a lot of the minifigure, or the studs, is here, and the backs are here. So you got a lot of work to do, but, uh, it's a much more stable system. Now there is a lot to uh, do when it comes to the elevator uh, system, which I've talked about in the article. Uh, let's hand crank this so I can stop it at specific points and you get a sense of where all the mechanisms are actually happening. All right, so the chain is what will actually lift the platform up. And if you can see underneath the platform, you have a series of uh, chains, but there's treads. That's what's actually going to catch the platform. Now, when it gets to the top, I'm just gonna hold it for a while. You see it ran the whole thing, and then there's a tire up in the front that catches it just like the previous one. The tire is also connected into the crank. So as I turn it, it will move the cars forward. And uh, the nice thing is if it moves too far past, it loads in like that. And we'll do that again. So one time I wanna show you uh, is when the platform is still a little bit stuck up here.
but the cars are waiting over at the beginning and they won't actually load on because there is a brake there. But if it, the platform gets down, it pushes the brake down, allowing the cars to load. Uh, as for how the whole centripetal force works is uh, essentially you need something that is just about as high as the uh, incline you're overcoming, which is why the top loop is essentially at the top of the other loop in terms of height and why this tower is, well, another loop worth height in that. Uh, another interesting thing that I found is they're actually doing more with the tracks uh, in the set. So the awning that's right above the uh, station where you load in all the passengers, those are actually built using track pieces. Another different use for the tracks is this whole counterweight system that's back here that lifts and lower, helps lift and lower the uh, platform is actually built on a track system right here, allowing you uh, basically to have a whole rail system that can span as long as you need it. Uh, another very, very interesting use of their tracks is actually building tracks that are in new and interesting shapes. So this curve that does the initial drop, there's actually two curved tracks that are normally flat and just curves, but if you turn them sideways, it uses the edge of the tracks and then space correctly to form a completely new cur uh, curve that doesn't exist anywhere else. Speaking of new curves, as you can see from this angle, the uh, loops form a spiral. So they not only make a quarter turn with each segment, but they also slightly twist. So once you have four of those pieces together, you get a complete loop. So make sure to stay tuned after this video to see uh, the motor hooked up and it running the uh, cars a few times. Uh, and I get it from every different angle so you can see whichever part interests you the most. Again, this is a $400 set. It's called Loop Coaster Set 10303. And man, it's so much, so much better than the original. I don't know why.